the million dollar question, literally, probably a million dollars of revenue yeah. that this has generated for you. Um, how do we now take them from watching a video to becoming an appointment on the calendar? What, what have you learned uh, from the conversion? How are you generating 40 appointments yes. a month on average? Yes. So in the beginning, um, when we had, and I don't know if I even shared the numbers, May uh, 2020 to December of 2020, we went from zero subscribers on YouTube to 70. That's not quite a great success. There were no reach outs, no appointments being set, nothing. And I was getting teased at the Christmas party in a loving way from the team, like great idea of uh, this initiative of, of getting doing content marketing. and. Thankfully, the next month or two, there was one video that took off and it generated 20 appointments in a weekend. But the thing that we were doing at that time that we figured out the mistake we made, advisors don't make this mistake. It's if you're going to put content on any social platform or YouTube, do not uh, go straight for the meeting. That's actually what we do now because we have the the level of um, uh, people, uh, you know, level of views where the right clients are reaching out. But in the beginning, maybe we had uh, that month that it took off, maybe we had uh, 5,000 views in, in a week or so, which was a lot for us at the time. And it was a lot for anybody. And 20 people out of there came in and they came in because I started sharing something that was not that idea of getting married and having a, a meeting together with someone you don't really know. Um, just don't ask for the appointment right away. That's not, the, that's not a baby step that people want to take. Some do. But most likely, they want something that's a smaller micro action, a smaller micro step, something for free. Find something for free that you can give to people that is valuable, and will will they'll they'll recognize the value. Here's, can, do we have time to share the thing that worked the best uh, during this period? Please, of kind of low views. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. It was I've mentioned it before um, on on some of the YouTube videos on Streamline My Practice, but it's the how much do I need to retire quiz, and the quiz was eight questions. You know, what's your name? How old are you? When do you want to retire? How much do you have saved? Uh, are you married? How old is, are they? And they would fill that out. I would get a, I used Typeform at the time. Typeform is just a quiz. You know, you can use Google Forms. You can use SurveyMonkey or, or anything. I got an email when someone filled it out and it had those answers. I would use the Riskalyze software now, Nitrogen software. They had this roadmap where you put in four I think it was just four inputs, you know, dollar amount, risk level, uh, inflation, um, age, retirement age. I think that was it. And then I would screen share using Loom, and I would record a three-minute video sharing what the results were of the map, right? Roadmap showing the up and then the down as they start to take money. And I think it was a percentage of success rate. And um, the thing that worked and got 25% of people who watched that video would reach out to me for an intro call were, was um, at the end of it, I would say, you know, in the beginning, I'd say, don't make any big decisions here. This is kind of high level, just a few numbers, but just to give you an idea as you're planning out your retirement. And at the end of it, I would say um, one of the things, or here's a few things that people in your situation, or maybe just a few years ahead of you are thinking, they are thinking about, okay, retirement's coming up. And what they are thinking about is tax efficient withdrawal strategy. You know, sometimes that's some of the biggest value, the biggest savings that uh, retirees can have is not paying any more tax than they need to, right? They're also thinking about this idea of Roth conversions. They've got a lot in their 401k pre-tax. They might have a lot in their IRA or SEP or whatever it is. And they're thinking, does it make sense to do Roth conversions at that, that time? Or if it was specific to them, I'd say, or they're thinking about this thing. I can't get into specifics now because I don't know all the details. But if you do want to talk, just uh, email me back and, and we could set up a time. And 25% of people would say, yeah, I want to talk about Roth conversion. I want to talk about tax efficient withdrawal strategy. And then we'd have a meeting. That's how we had our first client. That, uh, so let's see, December, and then a video took off, did well. And then I think it was February where we had our first client that followed that framework. And the reason why we stopped doing it is because then the views, I started, I think I figured out the formula, the views took off and it was a lot of people every day. And I just couldn't get back to, to all of them. So we had to yeah. narrow the gate a little bit. But that's not a problem for most people. Think about the quiz idea. Yeah, love that. And how, how do they 
So I'm, I'm just picturing I'm sitting here watching a YouTube video. It's most likely probably on an iPhone for most people. Mm -hmm. um, is this like, you know, like you look at an infomercial on TV, it's going to have that call 1-800 down at the bottom or whatever. H how does the actual interface work? Like how do they get the email or the quiz? Is there a, a link in the show in the yeah. notes under the YouTube? Is it on screen? Like what, what's the, how do you get them into that funnel? Yep. So um, you will promote it in the video. It'll be a one line. Um, let's say, okay, bold promise or uh, question, context, intro. And uh, a lot of people have been finding help um, with this. Uh, how much do I need to retire quiz? If you are, take a look below. And there's a link. That's what they click on. That's what they answer. And then Got it. I get the email. Yeah. So you're you're mentioning it. And it's just, that's really all it is. It's a mention uh, in the middle yeah. of a helpful piece of info. Cool. And about how long are the videos typically? I'm sure they range, but like how long is the video content? YouTube specifically, be in the beginning, two to three minutes was, I got the best feedback from people because I pretty much, I followed the framework, but made it quick. Uh, and mm. people can see how long the video is before they click. And if they see two videos called, um, you know, tax efficient withdrawal strategy or something like that, they'll pick on the one that's shorter a lot of times because they just want to get yeah. to it. And they would comment, thank you for making, you know, not a 20 minute video on this one topic, super helpful. So that was great. That allowed subscribers to happen. And I think for the first maybe six months or so, pretty short, maybe five minutes was the most. Now, the late, latest video I did was probably 14 minutes. But it's because there's a lot more to share, a lot different, you know, there's a whole, it's a whole different ball game as you keep going and get better. But in the beginning, yeah, yeah, go for the, the quick, quick hit for people. I, that's great because I think most advisors, it's overwhelming. I've got to come up with 10 minutes of content. It's like, no, just what advisor can't talk about something financial, financially related for two minutes? I mean, that should be a yeah. very low bar.